On September 24, a NASA spacecraft's capsule touched down in the Utah desert, ending a seven-year mission to return samples from an asteroid close to Earth. At 10.52 a.m. Eastern, the sample return capsule from the OSIRIS-REx, or Origins, Spectral Interpretation, Resource Identification, and Security Regolith Explorer, spacecraft landed on the Utah test and training range. The capsule reached the Earth's atmosphere at a speed of 44,500 kilometers per hour and landed 10 minutes later. Three minutes ahead of schedule for the return of the capsule, the landing happened. On the landing webcast, NASA reported that the primary parachute deployed at a height significantly higher than anticipated, around 6,000 meters, as opposed to the anticipated 1,500 meters. Images showed the capsule undamaged on the surface, although it was unclear what had prompted the departure from those plans. At 6.42 a.m. Eastern, after receiving final permission for the release from mission management, the capsule detached from the primary OSIRIS-REx spacecraft. The primary spacecraft then executed a divert maneuver 20 minutes later in order to pass safely past Earth. OSIRIS-REx was launched by NASA in September 2016 on an Atlas V, and it reached Bennu in 2018. Following an examination of the asteroid's surface from orbit, scientists decided on a place for a touch-and-go operation, in which the spacecraft would drop to the surface and temporarily insert a sample device to gather material from the asteroid before reversing course. The sampling operation, which took place in October 2020, collected so much material from Bennu's surface that engineers had to hurry up stowing the sample container into the return capsule after seeing photographs of some material leaking into space.